All right, Metro Boomin, 21 Savage, Drake type beat. Let's start out. Let's go like 120. Or even slower. Let's just go like 110 or something, like real slow. We're going to make a, a sample, and then we're going to take that sample, like speed it up a ton. So let's just start out on that. And this, let's, um, let's go to one shot, King, grab some strings. We're just gonna make a slow sample, kind of low pitch, and then we're gonna speed it up, and it's gonna be like faster and uh, higher pitch. like add in or maybe we'll take that put the bass notes down an octave get the thirds in there Two clicks and it's perfect. It's maybe even I'm gonna try to sound something like this. And... Thank you. 
Throw some shit on the master here. Fuck it up a bit. Let's go. channel and let's just do like a little arrangement of like three sections one more thing I should I would totally need in here is like a vocal chop section. I hope this works out how I'm expecting it to, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna bounce this out, like time stretch it up and like bounce it again, but once I bounce the master the OBS is gonna get fucked up, so I'm gonna mess with it. Like I said, we'll time stretch it to thirty two, we'll pull it up to there. And then we may the reason I made thirty two also is I may throw it into Fruity Slicer just to give it some more like bounce and shit, but I'll show you what I did afterwards. All right, so we have a bunch of effects on here. We just bounced it, so we bounced it out. Then we uh, brought it up to like the time shift to 32, brought it up to 170. Um, then we brought it into Fruity Slicer, where we then brought it down five uh, cents, 500 cents, so five half steps. And then um, you know we uh, chopped it by step. I reversed just basically a bunch of these random ones. Just a bunch of them are reversed at random, basically. Um, threw some more drip apex on there, an effect rack with a little phaser and a little radiator on there. And then um, 
the second time it bounced out, we kept all those original effects on there. So it's like doubled down on the sketch cassette and some shit. And then we got some more sketch cassette. We added a, a reverb just to kind of like tie together those like slices, a little EQ. And um, now we've got this. We're going to bounce this out now and then we'll cook up with it. Yeah, so we'll have to bounce that out. We'll have to take off some of the effects so that the uh, CPU is all right. But yeah, we'll bounce this by clicking that red button there and Alt R, and then we'll uh, put some drums on there. All right, we got it all pulled up back on here. We got our sample. I believe I, I recorded into Edison. I did detect pitch region. They, that first chord looked like it was D sharp. So we're gonna. I think that's the basement right there. I took the basement, copy paste it, but raised it up to there. So let's get these Metro Boom inspired type of drums. Yeah, let's find a nice clap to start out. We'll do like a little like couple extra things like but we'll put it in reverse. Yeah, that is our Metro Boom and 21 Savage Drake inspired type beat right there. Just something that sounds way more happy in the melody than you'd think. But then with 21 Savage on it and like a Metro Boom and being shit and just like sort of those Drake hi hats, just like that Drake 170 ish BPM with those just consistent two step hi hats. Um, and then just those like hard Metro like 808s and claps and shit and like extra like snare rolls and bounce and shit so that's what all that's inspired from but then of course i made it so it's still a music beat so <clears throat> inspired by but let's put on our tier 5 classic clipper with my settings right here three on the gain negative four on the slope and we'll arrange this out <laughs> full thing now. let's take out that triple hit we want to save that Let's try out. Uh, had that half time in the chamber. Let's see if we want to use it. Create an automation clip and turn it on right here. See how it is. We just roll right into like the drums. Right there.
might have turned into more of even like an internet money type beat in the end there, but like it was inspired by Metro Boom and 21 Savage, Drake, Mr. Right Now. That was this, that's where this inspiration came from. Just like I said, sort of more happy sound of melody than you'd think that 21 Savage would be on. And then just those hard drums. I just had this idea where I was like, oh, how would I make a sample like that? And I was thinking on my run on the beach this morning, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just make like something really slow and so just make it orchestral and like sort of more beautiful sounding. Um, but then speed it up and like fuck with it and then make it basically make it as if I'm actually sampling some old piece of music but I wrote the piece of music and then sped it up and made it all crazy fucked with it put the effects on it and yeah I just like the way when like you take like a slow lower pitch sample and like speed it up a bunch of like speeding a shit up a bunch sounds real cool especially like the vocal chops in there and shit and like the strings that like were a little bit slow on the on the attack but then like the slow attack will sound cool when you put it in there and I also want to do like the fruity slice or like the reverses and shit but uh, yeah, that's the beat today. Hope you like, uh, hope you like, we see, hope you like it. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, if you want more melodies like this one, definitely consider copying the Wake Up Sample Pack MusicBeats.com code winning streak for thirty percent off. Appreciate y'all. Till next time, here's the final beat piece. Mm -hmm.